got your meeting room account created, Microsoft Teams, you've given it, say, a pro license, and now you want to use telephony. So you want to be able to walk in the room and dial a PSDN number. So first up, we need to make sure we have a license, and that license is a calling plan. So if you're using Microsoft for telephony, um, you can also use uh, Operator Connect, direct routing. But for example, here in my tenant, I have Teams Domestic and International Calling Plan. So what I'm able to do is go to a user and pick my room, for example. And what I have to do, let's get the Alpine room here. I am able then to go to my licenses, set my location. So that's important as well, that you set your location where it's going to be used because that will represent the number where it'll be uh, used. So I give it a domestic calling plan and I save my changes. Once I have got that set up now and it's licensed, <coughs> I then go over to my Teams Admin Center and I want to actually then go to voice and I want to go to phone numbers. Now here I can request some phone numbers. So let's go ahead and add a number. So we can call this, uh, give it a reference, what we want. And what country do you want to use it in? So we want it in the United Kingdom. What number type? And this is the list from Microsoft. So we want a user number, which is a subscriber. And we want our operator as Microsoft. Uh, and this is where you can choose your different providers if you have that. Uh, I'm going to use Microsoft and I just want one number. Obviously I could select multiples and I want to select what location. I'm going to pick London. And there we go. And then it will ask me for the city where I want this. Now this is where my location is, where that device is located. So I've got my home address here, and then I can choose what number. Let's go to 208, for example, because I'm in North of London. And it's now finding me a number for this user. Now you could brief provision and get 10 numbers, for example. So now I have this number, I simply, I'm gonna copy it to my clipboard now, and I place that order. Now this doesn't cost anything for the actual numbers, they are there free. And it will appear in my list of numbers as it says. <clears throat> so now I can see it's here, and then I can see where is it assigned. So, how much did I get again? 7221. So I can then go to that number and click on edit. <clears throat> and I can assign it to a room now. Now this might not show up if you've just just assigned the license a little while ago or not too long ago, uh, it may not show you there. And I click apply. And now this number has been assigned to this device. So this user now has a phone number, I can get a manage users. And actually what will happen is it will also appear in, let's refresh this, let's search for Alpine. And it's now already got the number listed there. So it's all tied up and identified to it. So it'll also show up in the top left corner of your Microsoft Teams rooms uh, and then on the front room display and on the top right of the pad, for example. And now you'll have a call button on the actual home screen there. So you'll be able to walk up and make a call. So very, very simple to create and assign a number for your meeting rooms. That's today's quick tip. Any questions, let me know. Thanks very much.